My name is Ene Obi and I'm Country Director of Action Aid Nigeria. I, I, all we want to say today is that the President should sign the bill. We are not here to speak so many English, so much English. Get the President should sign the bill, assent to the bill, to move us forward with the electoral process. That's all I want to say. To so sign the bill, sign the bill. Sign Mr. The President, bill. Sign, sign the bill. bill. Mr. President, sign the bill. Mr. President, sign the bill. Mr. President, sign the bill. Our Baba, sign the bill. Our Father, sign the bill. If not, the National Assembly should veto him. The President should assent to, to the bill. Um, last week we issued a statement um, urging the President to assent to the bill by February 22nd. And we did so mindful of the implication of Clause 28, um, Sub 1 of the Electoral Bill 2022, which provides that INEC will issue notice of election 360 days. If you calculate 360 days from today to February 18th, 2023, it is 360 days. And to avert legal complications and fast track the process of preparations for the 2023 elections, we urge the president to assent to the bill. Um, we hope that the president will still assent to the bill today. And this um, National Day of Action by Citizens is geared towards encouraging um, the president to assent in the best interest of our democracy. And it's just one message to the president, assent to the bill in national interest because this bill commands the popular will of the Nigerian people and any further delay will undermine the integrity of the elections, uh, the 2023 elections. And if he has promised, and this is part of the legacy he wants to leave behind, then we urge him to do so without any further delay so that Nigerians can prepare adequately for the 2023 elections. We would like to give the president the benefit of doubt that he won't fail this time. He has failed five times. He's declined assent to the bill five times. We hope this time he doesn't. And we've also recommended that if he has any issue with any provision in the Electoral Bill 2022, he should forward proposed amendments to those clause or clauses like he has done for the Petroleum Industry Act 2022 Appropriation Bill, for which he has received a lot of commendations. So he should sign and then send a bill you know, to the National Assembly to amend the clause. In any case, he has no cause to, to fear or worry because the, the ruling party has control over the National Assembly. So we, we don't expect that he will face any challenge with um, passing through a, party, a proposal. Well, um, we've seen the National Assembly consider the bill loans request. We've seen them pass, pass elect, um, bills expeditiously. So we don't expect that there will be any gridlock if he submits um, a proposed amendment to certain clauses. But I think in the interest of our democracy, in the interest of our electoral process and the sanctity of the 2023 elections, he should just sign the bill and nothing more.